Hello and welcome back to the Zwift Academy Roadshow. I'm Rebecca Charlton. Well, another week down for ZA and we are fast approaching the halfway stage of this amazing eight week training program. Can you believe it? To be honest, I think my legs can. In five weeks time, we will be one step closer to giving two lucky and very talented riders a pro contract. And thousands of Zwifters out there will be graduating ZA 2020. That's right, ZA is for everyone. And we are here to help you get the best out of the academy, no matter what your level is. Now, if you haven't already signed up yet, get yourself over to zwift.com forward slash academy. And this week on the ZA Roadshow, Matt Stevens chats to former ZA champion Martin Laverick. It's week three in the lab with our coaches Dan and Stephen. And of course, Leah's back to answer the hot questions from the community in this week's Coffee Stop. It's all been happening this week in Zwift Academy. First up, Natalie Eklund, who was a two-time ZA semi-finalist, just became the Swedish national road champion. What a result. Next up, Christina Hansen, a ZA veteran who's super active in the Zwift community, has been taking an alternative look at the workouts by comparing them to different beers. We'll hear more about these two from Leah later in the show. Now, as you all know, I'm on my own Zwift Academy journey this year and I completed my second group ride this week. Let's take a look. It's so important to keep these rides together. They're so lovely and sociable. And the times are really, really going for it. Is in those weekly workouts. Hopefully anyone watching this who hasn't signed up for the academy yet will see how manageable this pace is. But generally what I love about these rides, in between your workouts, you can use them as a recovery ride. So if you're new to Zwift, this is what you're looking for, is following that beacon. And by beacon, I mean the rotation gold thing in the sky. And that is a person that is controlling the pace of your ride. Lovely way to spend an evening. And uh, I'll have my next workout coming up soon. Ah, we're done. Yes, my pain cave is slap bang in the middle of my living room. I mean, where else would I put it, right? <laughs> Remember, this is a journey. Some workouts will be really, really tough and others much more manageable. But the important thing is that we all hang in there together and hopefully we'll all end up stronger. Now, Slovenian cyclists are making waves at the highest level in the sport. And back in 2018, ZA had its very own Slovenian champion, Martin Lavrik. One man who spent plenty of time up close and personal with Martin during his Zwift Academy journey was Matt Stevens. Earlier this week, Matt caught up with his old mate Martin to chat all about ZA and get his advice for anyone taking part this year. Well, Martin, great to uh, not exactly meet you. I'm kind of meeting you, but great to see you again. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been a little while, but you're looking really well. So basically, how are you? How, how are things, all things considered in this very difficult year? Yeah, so <laughs> it's great to see you too. That's the first thing. Um, yeah, it's true that this year was difficult. And that's, uh, I think everyone can agree on that. Looking back, let's rewind a couple of years now and to the Zwift Academy when you were part of the process before the final. What was the hardest part of, this, of the Zwift Academy leading up to the final for you? What was the most challenging element uh, of those eight weeks approximately leading into the finals? I really enjoyed it and um, I remember I, I did all of, the, all of the rides, all of the training rides, I, I did all of the races and then I still had, I think, a week to go and I did all of them again just to... Wow, just, just, that's uh, dedication. I felt I could do better and I went through, through them again just to to set the, the like, my proper best uh, performances. Sure. Um, and it was, yeah, it was a really great experience. I know I, I kind of struggled through the semifinals, but yeah, when they... When they, when I got the email about that I'm actually in the finals, that that was like a big boost for yeah, the morale yeah, yeah. and everything. Well, and then then it just started like yeah, of course, all over I again. I got I got a quick question about that. Where were you when you got the email to say that you'd made it to the final? Can you remember that moment? You were at school, uh, right? Okay. Yeah. It was like 
me, it was a break between uh, two, um, it was like a lunch break, I think. And I just checked my email and I remember, like, I couldn't believe it. I immediately phoned, phoned my mom. She yeah. was like, yeah, everyone was just with, without any words. We were just like, well, what just happened? Because many people, the vast majority of people who do the Zwift Academy, aren't, of course, going to get a pro contract and they're not even aiming for the professional contract. They're aiming to get fitter, get better, get faster, uh, maybe get more enjoyment out of Zwift. So what would you give, what advice would you give to somebody like that who purely wants to get fitter and better? Most people with the look, of, even on the first uh, first training already, say, ah, that, that's just too hard for me. Why, why would I do that? But I can promise you those trainings are they're like the the people behind those trainings they they have a lot of knowledge and definitely yeah. those trainings will make you fitter I, I can promise you that it made <laughs> me fitter and i i'm pretty sure it will make everyone fitter and also with the all of the um, like you, you get the free uh, today's plan account you could sure. they could also check their power compared to the the best in the in the academy and they could see like what it really takes and that comparison is also i would say interesting well it's been great to chat great to catch up all the very best uh, for the future martin and uh, we'll catch up with you very soon thanks again take care mate yeah, thank you man some amazing insight from martin there and what an accomplishment winning zwift academy at only 19. I'm struggling to even remember what I was doing at 19, to be fair, let alone winning a global competition. So fair play, Martin. Next up, our favourite coaching double act, Dan Fleeman and Stephen Gallagher are back. And yes, they're still in that lab. So let's hear all about week three's workout. Welcome back to the Zwift Academy Road Lab. We're here to tell you the tips and tricks and the whys and words of how to get through this year's academy. In order to graduate the academy this year, you need to complete all eight workouts and any four Z8 events. If you're going for the contract, these events need to be the two races and two segment rides. Space them out to give maximal time for recovery. Even if you're not going for the contract, this is gonna help you learn about structured training and build your fitness. So let's get into it. This week, we're talking about oxygen again and how efficient your body is at using it. This is workout three, and we're on Greater London Flat. If you want to push the limit of your aerobic ability, this is the workout for you. If you pace this at an effort that is just about sustainable for four minutes, it's going to bring you to the very top of your VO2 max, and it's going to show you your peak four minute effort. Your VO2 max is a crucial part of your ability. What this teaches you to do is to make sustained efforts right at the upper limit of your oxygen consumption. We all know what it's like whenever we're going full gas in the Volcano KOM. We're on Box Hill, your heart rate's at its max, and your legs are burning. That's what it's like whenever you're right at the top of your VO2. In this workout, we're teaching you how to go deep for four minutes and how to recover from efforts like these. This week we have group rides on the Chanselise. I would advise using these as recovery rides and social rides. There's enough intensity in the races, the workouts and the segment rides that these can be a nice relaxed recovery ride. Keeping hydrated during these workouts is crucial if you're to get the most out of each session. Being dehydrated can have dire consequences to your performance and we don't want that. Make sure you're keeping hydrated, make sure you're keeping cool and good luck. Thanks guys, and don't worry, they are perfectly comfortable locked in that lab, I promise. They've got enough gels, bars and analytics to last them a lifetime. It's almost the end of the show, but wait, don't go anywhere. I've got one more thing for you. Yes, it's that time to kick back, relax and sip on a nice warm cup of coffee. It's the coffee start with the amazing Leah Forbelson. Hello. Hi, how's it going? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, yeah. Now, Leo, we heard about two incredible ZA community members earlier in the show, Natalie and Christina. Can you tell us all a bit more about them? Yes, Natalie Eklund has been twice Zwift Academy semi-finalist, and though she never quite snagged a spot in the finals, this past week, she surpassed what I imagine was her own wildest dreams and expectations, becoming the Swedish national road champion. So congratulations, Natalie. And Christina, 
is now also a multi-time graduate. Um, she is very active in the community throughout the year in the Zwift Ladies community, but she is becoming infamous for her write-ups on the Zwift Academy workouts where she compares each workout to a beer. And if you haven't read her beer comparisons, they're really quite entertaining. So I highly recommend checking those out. So really, we have the wrong drink of choice today because I quite want a beer now. I mean, it's a little, I, in the US, it's still a little bit early for a beer, but um, come five o'clock, I am right there with you, sister. <laughs> what else are people talking about this week? So people are getting really excited and anxious to get started on the Zwift Academy races and segment group rides. And I've seen quite a few questions about when those will be appearing in the calendars and they are started on the rotation now. You will see race one is already in the calendars. The segment first segment group ride will start showing up in week three. And from there on, it'll be a rotation of races one and two and segment group rides one and two for the duration of Zwift Academy. Another thing that I've seen pop up a bit in the community groups and even in the other social pages that I think is, is worth talking about is some people are asking, is this really a training program? You know, this is advertised as a training program, but this feels more like tests and it absolutely is a training program, but what we're teaching through Zwift Academy is the different types of energy systems, how you recognize where your strengths are, how you recognize where your weaknesses are, and what type of workouts you can use to train those systems. So we're not trying to train every system in eight workouts, that would be impossible, but it's a massive amount of education. If you're tuned in to the commentary that's happening during those workouts, to the posts that the coaches are making in the community groups, talking about the specific points of each workout, it's going to teach you a lot about the different types of training that you need to do. And that's information that you'll be able to carry forward onto training to long, more extensive training programs in the future. Leah, I can't wait any longer. It's time for my favorite part of the show, fan of the week, and wait for it. Who's blown you away? Well, this, our fan of the week this week is Lou Ellen Roberts. And as you can see, yes, he is spreading his wings, flying through the Zwift Academy, or maybe he's pretending to post up thinking he just won the Tour de France. We don't know, but what he has won is the award for fan of the week this week. So everybody keep on submitting your setups with the hashtag Zwift Academy for your chance to be featured in next week's fan of the week. Leah, as ever, thank you so much. And same time next week. Sounds perfect. Have a great week. You too. See you then. Sadly, that's all we've got time for this week. Thanks to everyone who joined us on the show. And remember, you can still sign up for Zwift Academy at zwift.com forward slash academy. And for those of you who haven't already, make sure you nail workout three. Goodbye for now. We'll see you next time and ride on.